Hi guys, welcome back. It's here. Woohoo! The last day, day five of the shaver day for five days. Uh, oof, I won't be doing this again. But anyway, it's been enjoyable and we've seen it through. Today's shave, we're going to be using a Gillette Ball End Tech. Uh, there you go. Bought this from a chap on eBay. He sold the head and two handles. Uh, three handles, actually, in the uh, One of them was a, a plastic handle. But anyway, we got, we got, I'll explain a little bit more about that. We got that, and in there, put that in the sink, get some heat in that blade. In there, we're using a Gillette, uh, Gillette, a Supermax Super Stainless Blade. Second use, but for this particular brand of blade, I think it will be the last one. Little interesting note on the back there, look. On the back of the razor, let me pause, zoom in, can you see it? It says they're important. Do not wipe or rub the blade, simply rinse and shake dry. There you go. Well, I won't be doing either. I'll be straight in the bin after this. Anyway, yeah. Uh, brush. Brush we're going to be using. Let's get this in soak. A bit of water in there. Erasmic bore brush. We'll just put that in the uh, in the pot to soak. And on the <coughs> on the razor, no, here. So you talk about people in the wet shaving community. I bought, I bought the razor on um, eBay. Uh, I bought the razor and two handles. And when it came, eight pounds. And when it came, you talk about people in the wet shaving community being generous. I've probably mentioned this before. Look there. I don't know if you can see it. There is the note that came. It says, hello, John, please find enclosed a razor with a black handle and two metal handles. And the black handle was free. One shaving brush. That was free. It's a little cold Mac. I've mentioned it in a previous video. A small container lidded with a bar of shaving soap. That's it there. Free. Uh, he doesn't say free. These these were all, I'm saying these were all given free. Um, also in the container, new old stock blades. He sent a couple of razor blades as well, and that was Colin um, sent me this. Uh, so I got in touch with him via eBay just this week, and I said, Colin, I'm going to be using your stuff on Friday uh, if you'd like to watch uh, and see my YouTube. And I give the name of the YouTube channel. So if you get to see this, Colin, thank you for your, your kindness and your generosity. It's much appreciated, loved, and will get well used. Okay, so more of the soap in a minute. We're going to be uh, balming up with that. <sighs> I need it. And Imperial leather aftershave. Vintage. Vintage. Oh, it, you know, it smells just, just like a bar of Imperial leather soap. Um, and the reason I picked that aftershave is because he sent me this little container, Colin, look at this. Yeah, I love stuff like this. Eh? Look, send it to bar of soap. I'll put the container on one side. Uh, and we've got this soap. No markings, nothing. These ridges, you see these ridges on it? So I opened it. Opened it up. There you like it. Nice and nearly. Opened it up. It's not going to go, is it? Uh, I have to rip it a little bit and get it open. Uh, and now that's what the salt looks like. And it smells like imperial leather salt. Now, I did a bit of research and the only thing I can find like this, and it all fits to me, is um, Port Sunlight. Leave, I think it was Lever Brothers on Port Sunlight. They stopped making stuff in the 70s, I think. Um, and they used to make this soap and it's called Easy Shaving Soap. If anyone knows better, please correct me in the comments. But um, the timeline fits, the packaging fits, um, and everything else fits. Uh, and pour some light. Yeah, they don't make stuff anymore. Uh, it's, a, it's a little show village now. Because back in the day, what he did, the guy, he believed in treating his work as well. Back in, you know, the turn of the century and so on. 
so you get houses with gardens and, and um, spaces between the houses instead of terraces and and uh, areas for them to walk and parks and it really looks after them um, and it's a little shore village now poor sunlight it's called but anyway that's the soap so what we'll do I don't know how this is going to go um, we'll wet the face and then we'll see what happens with the soap oh yeah so how's everybody doing how's the shares Uh, I uh, yeah, don't know how this is going to go, but anyway, um, flash boredom put a video up yesterday, and it's not, Flash hasn't put videos up for ages, I think he's put two videos up in the last year or something, um, so when you put one up, I was like, wow, anyway, he basically introduced me to a wet shaver I was unaware of uh, and he's called NY I've got it written down NYC wet shaver um, he's watched a few of my videos I've watched some of his good videos check his channel out guys check his channel out um, I, I don't want to say too much but he's in, I think he's in hospital at the moment he's got some uh, health issues so uh, maybe go over there watch his videos like them, subscribe, send him some love that way. Uh, if you're watching Jimmy, I think you're called. All the best from England, pal. Get well soon. Um, yeah, so cheers for that, Flash. And uh, I was watching, uh, here we go. Look at this. Like, this soap's got to be at least 50 years old. Yeah, and it's still got the sense. Yeah. There's a must mustiness to it, though. I was watching um, Lena for that, you see. Oh man. <laughs> I was watching Reed at Shave Cave yesterday. He gave me a shout out. Thanks, Reed. I've mentioned his channel a few times, but fantastic videos. Go over there, uh, watch him. I'm trying to figure out how to. I'm sure I've got some videos in my. My, my um, what is it, recommended videos section or something. I'm still trying to figure out YouTube because I go off it on my phone and a lot of the features are missing on the PC. I'm trying to get my PC's faulty, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'll try and get it in the, in the recommended videos or something. But uh, I was watching him yesterday. Oh, man. And uh, he, he's, he's lathering and he's going... <laughs> he's going he was doing that honestly it looked exhausting and I just do you know Reed if you watch this mate if I did that that's why I go and lie down I would how well would that go with the wife what are you doing in bed oh just had a shave love yeah. cut to the next video of me with a black eye and a fat lip yeah. but anyway yeah this soap Looks okay. Here we go. Nice and mild. Let's see where we get to. So, it's good to see Flash. The videos again. Uh, I don't think he's going to be making any more. I don't know. Come back, Flash. We love you. I'm enjoying Reed's video. That shave cave, the hit shave den. Oh man. It's lovely. And that um, stainless steel cabinet and mirror that you got. I want one. <laughs> I really do. But isn't it wonderful how I know I've said it before, you cooped up here because of this virus thing or whatever. Or even if you're not and you just make sh shaving videos in your little corner of the world and you put them up there 
and then you get comments from people all over the world absolutely fantastic real decent people um, like uh, I mentioned him again I am CDV I just watched his video this morning with the van der Hagen mention I am CDV because if you watch my videos right back I think right from the very first one I was talking about I am CDB because I love his videos and I just love his ethos and his attitude towards people and wet shavers and vendors and so on, you know. Right, okay. So, now. There's some residual slickness there. Hmm. There isn't... There isn't a great deal. And while I'm eating, I'm going to show you how my dad, how my dad used to lather up. Right? He'd have a stick like this, and he had a little cool Mac brush that Colin sent. It's I can't use it. It's it's too small. And what he would do, my dad, he would he would get in there, lamb. Get in there, lamb. And then he would make. A little cut with his hand on and he would lather on and look at it he would lather up like that in his hand <laughs> and then he would rinse his hand up and away he would go finish off his shave with his little um his little orange bic razor I mean, even, even back then, there was something ridiculous, like a pound for a thousand or something. Horrible little things. See, little white plastic things with the orange cap. Oh, man. And they didn't really shave as much as just scrape the hair off. And it would, it would come down and <laughs> it, would just look, it would just look like he'd been slapped across the face after his shit. It was so funny. Uh, needless to say, there was no aftershave plan directly after his shave. Oh man. Oh, those were the days, eh? And that was around about the time this style of shaving died for many. I don't know when I started shaving. I just went straight to carts. And then for a long time it was a Gillette Mac 3 for me. But there was a period of time, and all oh, cartridge razors now are dirt cheap, aren't they? But there was a period of time when they weren't. I think the Mac 3, I think I paid £20 for the handle and three heads. And then the heads were something like £12. I'm going back 10, 15 years. The heads were something like £12 for five. Uh, and I was getting three shaves out of a head. It was astronomically expensive. But anyway, on with the shave. So, yeah. I think the issues are fixed with the broadband. The engineer was supposed to be coming out this morning but his phone been cancelled because of coronavirus. But he said he's going to come out and just look at it another time. But he thinks it's fixed on the line, huh? Um, which I was really gutted because I was, I was trying to upload a video and it took an hour to upload and then he started uploading again. Then it took an hour to upload and started... And he did that four times. Eventually I left it for an hour and then started uploading and uploading again. But my daughter-in-law, Abby. Hi, Abby. Hello, Josiah. She goes and picks up my four-year-old because he finishes school at 12. And she goes and picks him up and they come home and have lunch and sit and watch granddad's video when he goes off. And he was sat. He was sat what, waiting for it. And Abby, what's happening? She went, John, there's a video going off. Uh, and it, it just kept reloading. I felt so... Sorry for him, she sent me a picture of him. 
sat staring at the TV looking for me, looking for Grandad's video. So. Uh, that's my daughter in law, Abby. That's her. Uh, she's married to DC Shaves, my son. He's putting his first video up tomorrow. Watch out for it, guys. The DC Shares, it's called. Uh, and I say Abby's my daughter in law, but I view Abigail as a daughter. I really do. A wonderful person. Fantastic wife and mother. Love her to bits. Did I just catch myself? No. Yeah, so. Uh, Thanks for watching, Abby. That's all, love. You know, I on CDB was saying, you know, uh, recommend channels and highlight channels and so on. And that's a good, it's, it's a good thing, that. It's wonderful because we, we are all part, I think this is a unique community. And I've said it before in my videos. The people that do this as a hobby, they're, they're a certain type of person. Uh, and they are the friendliest, warmest, most genuine, um, helpful people, you know, that, that you will ever meet. Take part in this hobby. You know, like Shave Cave and I am CDB, Flash Boredom, NYC Wet Shave. You know, I mention them all every time. NYC Wet Shave is a, um, a new one. I'm going to try and find another new one for tomorrow. Well, Sunday, because uh, I'm not doing a shave video tomorrow. Oh man, I'm having some to this. is really early. It's about nine o'clock. Well, I'm really early. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, Friday morning. So I'm going to leave it now till about five o'clock Sunday afternoon and do a shave. So tomorrow I'm going to do part one of a shave den tour. I'm going to um, going to be showing off tomorrow. I'm going to do doing three parts, I think, so I can put something up every day. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do um, splashes and brushes, razors and blades. Soaps and creams. Keep an eye out for that coming tomorrow. <coughs> another, um, another idea from Reed at Shave Cave. Oh, 100% legend. Fresh brewed coffee. Oh man, he takes it and he shaved, and I thought, well, if he can do it, so can I. You need, you need a coffee, don't you? And that is that Christmas blend coffee I was talking about. And uh, Mark Zaredi, it's another wet shaver. I saw him, he lives up where they make the maple syrup. Uh, and he was saying he did a coffee, you put a couple of drops of maple syrup in it. So I've got a couple of drops of maple syrup in that, and it, it really does make a difference. There you go, Imperial Leather. Wow, here we go. Just this one. Oh man, oh man, childhood Christmases, every year at Christmas, somebody would give you an imperial leather gift set, it would have talcum powder and a bar of soap in it, oh man, and the soap smelled just like, and it, it was luxury stuff, you know, you can get it now but it's not the same, it was luxury stuff, I'm going to try and get some of the original 1970s recipe. Here we go, more bar milk. There you go. Birch sap bar. Good, good stuff, this. Good moisturising stuff. So, that's the five day challenge over, guys. <laughs> Have I enjoyed it? No. Would I do it again? <laughs> no. Has my skin improved? No. Uh, <laughs> I've enjoyed the shaves. I've just seen now. Now he's just putting that balm and I have to shave on now. Oh man, my skin needs a rest. Well, I honestly, do not know how you guys shave every day. Like I, like I said yesterday, I wish I could. I wish I could. I just cannot. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for all the comments. And all the subscriptions, um, please click like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you're a new subscriber, go into my other videos, I've got a giveaway. Um, please enter. Uh, I don't think there's many people entered into it. 
but please enter even if you subscribe now and then that's the very next video you go to and enter you can do that it's fine we just want to spread the word about wet shaving and grow this community so if you win i will send you a razor and some blades okay guys thanks for watching have a lovely day today rest of the friday um some parts of the world i don't know if it's early morning or late afternoon but um enjoy your weekend and i will see you tomorrow for the first installment part one of um, shaved and tour thanks everybody bye